on, on this shit. This shit is crazy, dog. Like, like, you'll never believe this, okay? Imagine you've been living your life, right? You meet a girl, right? And when you meet this girl, everything is going according to plan. Y'all are loving each other. Y'all are, that's my boo. You know what I mean? And let's just say, God forbid, you get a terminal illness, like cancer. Or terminal means, means fatal, right? Whatever. You get one of them illnesses that is very bad, right? Like cancer. Bedridden. Cancer is very bad. Like it's one of them bad stages, you know what I mean? And then she leaves you because it if she leaves you for her mental health because she couldn't handle it. So she leaves you for her own mental health to fucking have cancer and deal with it by herself. Now me, I'm so petty. That would have gave me more strength. Because I would have been like, oh, this fucking bitch. I would have been like, yo. I would have been like, you fucking bitch. I would have swear to God. Like, I would have got so much strength. I would have been like, you. And then I would have rose from the ashes. Would have rose from the dead. I swear to God. I would have, they all like, fuck that. Yo, I would have been so fucking pissed that it would have gave me motivation to just to keep going. Some people would get sad and just, you know, like, nah, fuck that. And when I, when I become healthy... I'm stunting on her. So anyways, British woman to run London Marathon in honor of ex-boyfriend. When she said she was going to run a marathon, I had my doubts at her ex-boyfriend. So, <clears throat> some people's goal in the first marathon is just to finish, while others might choose to honor their ex-boyfriend, who they split up because, because um, his cancer battle was taking a toll on their mental health. When Daniel Epstein of London's former partner, Jill Friesen, was diagnosed with a brain tumor in September 2022. She began to experience panic attacks from mental health, took out nosedive. The pair ended up splitting up, and now Epstein is running Sunday's London Marathon honor, raising funds for brain tumor research. Now, I'm not the smartest guy, right? In the room. Oh, before Fresen was diagnosed, the couple was planning to buy a house in London when he started suffering dizzy spells and vomiting. After several tests and scans, he died was grade four medulloblastoma and had to go through radiotherapy and chemotherapy, which resulted in him having to relearn how to walk. So, he had a very damaging brain ca cancer thing that happened to him. Uh, I can't pronounce that word again. And then... His girlfriend leaves him. Now, that's just his girlfriend. So if it was his wife, I think it's a different story. However, my thing was, I was going to ask you, how do you feel about that? Even if it is your girl, how do you feel about that? Because it's not like you're going to get married. It's not like you guys are going to get married now. And even if y'all were thinking about it or talking about it, y'all are about to buy a house. So think about this. Y'all are about to buy a house. So that means y'all were probably going to get married. But then this roadblock happened. And she couldn't, she couldn't be there for you. She couldn't be ten toes down for you. She had to be like, yo, I got to escape this. What? And then she has the audacity <laughs> to run a marathon in your honor. She left you bedridden, Right? Left you bedridden, and now she's running a marathon in your honor. That is some trifling shit. I don't give a fuck what anyone has to say. To me, I'd be pissed, yo. He's like, oh no, it's all good. Muskeen, look at this muskeen, man. I would have been pissed off. I'd be like, don't even. I'd be like, you left me because I had cancer. I had to relearn how to walk. And now you're talking about you're running in my honor? Don't be, bitch, get the fuck out of here. If you don't, bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of here, who do you think this is? This is me. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I would have been so pissed off, yo. I would have been like, I would have been, no, nah, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not going to do it. No, nope, I'm not going to do it. Nope. You have to resist sometimes. You have to resist.